Hello, welcome to the Selections tutorial, video tutorial that should help you. Uh, so here I'm showing on the screen the after photograph. So this is what you want your image to look like when you're all done. Okay, so what I'll be looking for when I grade is correct placement. Is each item where it should be? Are there clean edges? Are there no white spots in between? Are there three different um, circles that say Sally's seashells? And are they blue? So here I am in Photoshop and I've opened up the before image, which I gave to you. And the first thing that they have us do is um, select this little shell. And so I'm looking off to the side, so I'm following the tutorial. And it would like us to zoom in. And so as you know, the bottom tool here is the zoom tool. I'm gonna to zoom in. Once you've zoomed in, you can press the space bar and move around in your image, okay? I'm going to select the quick selection tool. Sometimes you have to click and hold to find tools that are underneath the current one that you're looking at. Okay, and here it says, let's see, click on and off white area near the outside edge of the sand dollar. Okay. And there we go. I just clicked twice and it selected the sand dollar. And you know it's selected because there are marching ants uh, all around the outer edge. Okay? And it says to leave the selection active. Okay, once you've made it, any changes that we make to this selection will be applied only to what we have selected. Okay? Now we want to zoom out. So we can see the whole thing because we're going to put all the items on this uh, plate. Okay, we're going to select the move tool. Okay, and drag it to the lower left here, and we can always look at the original just to make sure that we are pretty close. Okay, sort of falls off the edge a little bit, maybe even up a little bit more. If you want to make minor adjustments, use the arrow keys on your keyboard. Okay, I'm looking, I'm trying to go with the little squares here. It's up just a little bit. All right, then we can go to select, deselect, or control D for the shortcut. And now the sand dollar is no longer selected. Okay. So the next one is we want to click on the shells to the right side. So we want this bowl of shells right here, right? So we're going to zoom in on that. Okay. Not quite. Oh, no way. That looks good. Okay. Now the tool that we're going to choose is the elliptical marquee, which is up here on the left. There's this little picture. No one wants to see that. Okay, hold, click and hold. Okay, an elliptical marquee. Looks like a circle. Okay. Moving the pointer over the bowl of shells. Here we are. You can sort of see my pointer right there. Drag diag diagonally, but don't release the mouse button. And it doesn't matter if it's the exact shape yet, okay? Yeah, that's pretty darn good though. Okay, I'm not releasing my mouse button. Now we're gonna hold the space bar. Maybe a little bit smaller. And we can move the selection so I'm keep holding and pressing the space bar because I might need to enlarge my selection a little bit, move it. And it's okay. It's better if it's slightly inside the bowl as opposed to outside because if it's outside, you're going to see a little bit of white. Okay. So um, we can hold the space bar again and move it if we need to, but this is a pretty good selection. Okay. Now let's zoom out. 
fit screen. So I do that by clicking on the, the little magnifying glass, fit screen, and we are going to move it. Move tool, and it goes right about here. Looks about right, doesn't it? Yep. Okay, so we've got that. And again, you can make minor adjustments by up and down. If you want, you can double check. Looks looking good. Okay. All right, so again, we're going to go to select, deselect, or control D. 